Today on Toys we're getting all spooky. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new, well it came out two years ago, but it's brand new for me. The Conjuring 2's The Crooked Man by NECA Toys. They are starting to be re-released, people are finding them on the store shelves. And I found mine at Target. Really nice packaging overall. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So thank you for that. And here's the barcode as well. If you missed him and you want to pick him up now. You open up the box and you get a really nice photo of the figure itself. And then you get to see the figure and all of his accessories. So finally stoked to have this guy. Not a big fan of the movie, we'll just say. But very interesting looking toy, and I can appreciate a good creature design, right? So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot spot of tea. This is a look at the brand new The Conjuring 2's The Crooked Man by NECA Toys. And of course, here's the creepy crooked cretin out of his packaging. You get a lot of great accessories with this guy. A really interesting creature design, but absolutely more so than anything. I love the reds that are so eye-catching on this guy. He comes with this cool animated zoetrope device, which is in the film, and it's like an early animation sort of deal where you would essentially have a series of images that when you rotate it, it would spin, and it looks like animation. It's like a fun kid's toy, very, very antique looking. I love that the handle spins on this thing. Just go easy with it, right? And at the top, you can kind of see in, if you actually remove this part, which is like the light, you can see inside and you see the crooked man doing his little crooked walk and everything else. So just like in the movie, you know, where it stops and all of a sudden he appears and he goes, hey, I gotcha. But it's a very well done accessory. Same thing with his very creepy crooked hands. You get a couple of them. All of them hold the accessories and weapons perfectly. Very unsettling much like his extra head portraits where once you take the hat off you can see the eyes i love the different expressions you do get a bevy of them gritted teeth laughing more so just a somber sort of head so they all work and they're all painted nicely you get a very crooked umbrella which is very jagged go easy with the tip parts of this it's very we'll say fragile just fyi but the reds are great I love the look of the handle. It looks like knotted wood. So they really achieve something cool here with all the accessories. I mean, you hear me talking about it, but really the crooked man himself is done very elegantly, a very British chap, right? And all his striped red suits and his Victorian shoes and everything else. He's got his coattails right here. I love the paper, the crinkled paper effect that they've achieved with his suit. It doesn't really look like material, it looks like very brittle paper, and that's what's really cool. The top of his hat, the glasses, very creepy looking, and you remove it, of course, and it's just a blank stare, dark black eyes, creepy. You can remove the heads and pop them out, and they all interchange great. I personally like this really smiling head. It does kind of go, back and forth with how he looks whether I like it with the hat or not I think the hat achieves the full look but we'll just take it off and show you the full range of movements that you get for his head his arms work with you and kind of work against you in some instances with the suit right right there at the shoulder nothing at the bicep he's got these really cool double jointed elbows which are kind of hidden in the sense of the articulation they will spin more so at the elbow hands he doesn't have much of an ab crunch he'll kind of rock to and fro he'll spin at the waist area he'll kick out with his really long spidery legs which you do get a lot of articulation out of he's got some single jointed knees they will spin at the knee as well and again i really like the way his boots are painted nice articulation out of them and nothing really seemingly feels like it's going to snap or break so that's really nice to kind of carry forth and see that with NECA toys i wouldn't say you have to heat this guy up at all which is always a benefit now the one thing i will point out though is the colors of the suit more so in the arms i would say it fits it's kind of like a darker red to a lighter red here down below it kind of looks like instead of pants it's almost a diaper in the sense just because of the mismatched colors going from a light red 
to a dark red. So that's my one nitpick, but boy oh boy does he photograph beautifully. This is a very cool, very well done figure. And again, I love all the accessories that he comes with. It's just a really creepy, unsettling character. Kind of reminds me of Mr. Bloom from DC Comics, right? But of course, the Crooked Man based off the old children's nursery rhyme and such. So I think execution wise, it's spooky. It's scary. It does the trick. There's a few nitpicks here and there with color matching, but overall, the accessories really make this character, and it's a lot of fun. Now, if you're wondering in terms of scaling, yeah, he's a rather tall figure. So, pairing you know, up with Hasbro, McFarlane, he's going to tower over most. And in case you were wondering, here he is paired up with a Burger King Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy. This guy, again, photographs beautifully. I think you're going to have a blast with him overall. The accessories really make this figure. Everything and anything you could want for really just embodying this character from this particular movie. Yeah, it's all there. And I love the extra head portraits to him. I would say, yeah, I'm ready for a Crooked Man movie. I know there's been rumors of that for a while. And yes, while this figure is at least two years old now from when he first came out, I'm really glad that he came back to shelves. I was bummed that I missed him. It kind of fell under the radar, never saw him in stores. But bingo bango, when I walked into Target the other day and I saw him sitting on the shelf, I was like, oh, heck yeah, I can finally grab him. Plus, Halloween is upon us, right? So, nice little setup for all the horror displays for this year. But, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this figure. Did you pick him up then? Are you going to grab him now? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything the Crooked Man. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if I don't talk with you, have a fantastic holiday weekend. Don't go too crooked. Just keep it straight and narrow, and you'll be good to go. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.